So now I just take the grapes and pick them all off of the vine. Should just all kind of fall off. And then take this, turn it, and let it put all the juice down there into the bottom. And just keep doing this until you have a lot of juice down there. So there's two different directions you can spin this. If you spin it this way, it scrapes the screen and cleans it. But if you spin it the other way, it crushes the grapes. Say you're crushing the grapes and then that screen gets a little clogged. Turn it back that way and it scrapes off the screen and you can keep going. So I'd say it's a pretty efficient design and it's been around for a long time. Alright, now let's spin it the opposite direction. And then we have all the seeds and the skins. And we can just put those in a container. This is actually the container for our chickens, and the lead love those. And as you can see, it's already looking like jelly. So it sure is a lot of work to get this all ground up and mashed. It really makes you appreciate all the work that goes into it when you spread it on a piece of toast. So what I'm gonna do is stir it up so all the pulp gets mixed in. So one, like the last jar, won't have the most amount of pulp. And pour it into the jar carefully. Just like that. So now all we need to do is add some of the stuff <laughs> that makes it into jelly and then we'll let that sit and we'll have a can of jelly. So tomorrow we'll make this into jelly and I hope this video is useful and you learned how to use a foldy mill like this and process grapes into um, jelly. So if this video is useful please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.